example of every time the Lord gives you a vision or you have an un a, you know, a gumption to do something different or there's mm -hmm. a desire in your heart, that don't mean you got to share with the Lord. You don't got to hop on Facebook and be like, all right, 2022, I'm opening up a boutique and I'm moving to uh, LA and I'm doing this and I'm doing it. Sometimes keep that to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please. I'm trying to get Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jay. I'm Meek. And this is the Jay and Meek experience. experience. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell down below so you'll know when we post our next video. Video. Oh. Video. Oh. Post our next, next, next video. It's our video. Bitty video. <laughs> it's our next video. Video. So, bro, I cannot believe we are already at the end of 2021 going into 2022. 2022. 2022. 2022. Who work? Who work? Who work? Who, who are you? Like, literally, we are days away from 2022. And that's days so... away. Like, that's crazy. This year went by Dang. so fast. Like, I blinked and it was already August. I blinked and it was like... August, my birthday. <laughs> December. And I'm like, what? Right. I'm not ready. Or am I ready? I think I am ready because I'm ready for this next chapter. Like, baby, I know this next chapter. <laughs> baby, this next chapter. Lil' Meek coming back with a bitch. She coming back with a bitch, just baby. Hey. Yes. I'm excited about 2022. I have a lot that I hope for in 2022 yes. as well. But as we talk about, like, what we hope for and things... It makes me think of a lot that we've seen in 2021 and I guess in 2022 about manifesting. Manifesting. Yes. So, I mean, the word manifesting is like a new trend. It is a new trend. Like, you know, I guess in like 2016, people weren't saying manifest. I didn't hear them saying that. Manifesting this, this, this. No, I feel like this was a trend that populated within like the pandemic. Within the pandemic. Yeah, within the pandemic. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. Manifestation is what people start to say. But at the same time, in my opinion, manifestation is just the damn play of trying to say faith. Instead of saying faith, they're now doing a new trend because, you know, everybody got to hop on some. Some. They got to hop on some. And so the new trend is manifesting instead of saying faith. Faith. Baby, it's faith. It's faith, baby. It's, it's all faith. it is. It's faith. Period. You can so. say manifest all you want. But it's it's faith. It's faith. Because what is faith? The substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Period. So when you're manifesting what mm -hmm. you want to happen, basically you're just exercising faith. So let's just call it what it is. Faith. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, I mean, what does that look like for you? Because, I mean, a lot of times, I mean, I, I don't... You'll never see me posting like I'm manifesting this. Right. But I definitely have faith for things that I don't, I haven't seen yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I have a lot of faith, but at the same time, you would know instead of me putting it out there into yeah. the universe of what I have faith in. Because a lot of times, for me, I would say for me, I don't like to speak it to everyone that I know is not down or just positive within me in my life and things like that because sometimes with speaking things out to people that do not see the positive aspect of what you got going on it ain't always yeah, good you have to be careful about that and that makes me think about something too just what? how the bible says you know the power of life and death lies or the life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Our words have power. And that's like the basis of manifestation and faith too. Like right. what you speak is what can truly become. And I think that sometimes we don't realize how powerful that is. Right. Speaking things. Because there's stuff that you can say over your life or over yourself or even over other people. And you think you're just saying it, you know, to be funny or you're just saying it to pass the time, but mm -hmm. it has power. It does have power. And I mean, I have, I can low key touch on that low key because with my current situation, like as far as job aspect, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, I pray I get this job. I hope I get this, 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 that. You get the job, but then at the same time, you things ain't going as you thought it was going to go with mm -hmm. the job, but then you just start talking crazy about it. Not even realizing that God bless you to have that job. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you could be so caught up in being negative about a, a specific 
topic or a specific situation that you low-key not even realizing the positivity in it. So therefore, when you asking God to bless you with something else that's positive, he might be, be looking at it like, I already bless you. You ain't even saying a thankfulness. You ain't even being thankful with what I already gave you. Why would I bless you with something else? Yeah, that's true. Like, you have to, I think the power of the tongue goes both ways, like mm -hmm. Shmika was saying. Like, it could be positive or negative. So like she was saying, if you want your job every day, and you're like, man, I hate this job. I can't stand this job. I hate my manager. I can't wait till I get another job. I can't wait till I leave. I hope this. I hope that. Guess what? One day you might wake up and find you ain't even got that job no more because that. of how negative, negatively you're speaking about the job or over the job. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful with what you say. And I think too often, and I'm guilty of this too, we sit up and complain. And it's like. Complain. And it's like, appreciate. Appreciate. Uh, I appreciate. Then you ask for this. You ask for this. Then you got it. And, and now you want to complain. And now you want something else. And now it's not good enough and right. all that. And then you have a negative mindset. So just like you can manifest positive things, you can be like, I want success. I want a healthy marriage. I want this. I want that. When you sitting there complaining and speaking those <laughs> negative things out your mouth, that is also manifesting. Right. Like literally, that is You're also manifesting manifest negativity. negativity. And don't even realize and it. And don't realize it. Don't so even realize it. So when you sitting up saying, oh, I ain't going to never like my manager. Oh, I ain't going to never get along with these people in my job. Oh, these da, da, they got me messed up. You don't realize you're manifesting you're negativity. You're messing yourself up. Tell me if they messing you up. Baby, you messing you up. What? You are manifesting negativity into your own life. So just remember that when you quote unquote manifest. Again, I don't really use the word manifest. I say faith. Faith. Period. But it's it's it goes both ways. It's positive or negative. Like if you say negative stuff, guess what's finna come into your life? Negative stuff. Negative stuff. Negative stuff. But back on to the topic of manifestation. Let's talk about it. Just plain and simple faith. Period. The thing about it is a lot of people feel like they don't really understand what it is to even do it. You know what I'm saying? They feel like manifesting or, you know, faith is just like saying what you want instead of putting the work behind it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, you can shout out all day what it is that you want, but at the same time, if you're not working or even trying to grasp what it is that you want for yourself, you're not going to get it. A lot of people just be like, I ain't even, I told God I wanted this and he ain't even, baby. What are you doing behind it mm -hmm. to work with God to help him get you what you need? You know Can you think of any real life examples where you've wanted something and you had to put the work behind it? Uh, let's see. Um, oh. <laughs> I can think I mean, of it. I guess I can. I guess I can. Like, you had um, a business before. I have had a business. I had a lash business, but as far as that, I wouldn't say that that would be an example of it because of the situation. I did put the work behind it to get the lash right, business. Right. Now, as far as I, what I will say would kind of like go hand in hand with saying that I want this and then also getting it. I would say when I moved back from Houston, um, I, I prayed. Like I was like, oh, I hope I get a Monday through Friday job, work from home. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, with asking for that, you have to do the work. And right. I did research. Like, I was here. I, I came back May. I was working by June. Maybe June 7th, I had a job. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I did the research, put myself out there, put in applications, put in my resume to these specific type of jobs. And boom, I got a call back. I was doing multiple interviews and shit. Ooh. Stuff like that for jobs. But at the same time... This particular job came back, followed up, and when I got that last little, you know, three-part series of an interview, it was like, yes, this is going to be a Monday through Friday, work from home. Work from home. Got And it. she has to keep the faith because I'm sure it was at some point throughout that yes. process where you was like, am I ever going to get yes. a job? Because you know, like, when you putting in applications two and three, you know what I'm saying, two and three weeks passed by, ain't nobody called you, you like, you're like, maybe I'm not going to get it. Am I going to get it? Yeah, no. I got at this that. point, I take anything, but then he blessed me with that Monday through Friday mm -hmm. work from home. Period. I would say for me, when I went to nursing school, <laughs> first of all, I was supposed to be a nurse when I first went to UAPV, but period. they lost their accreditation, 
had to do all that. And then when I decided I was going to go back to nursing school, um, I was waitlisted, ended up getting in. And then because of a mishap, I ended Mm -hmm. up having to wait to start nursing school and having to reapply. And it was crazy because I was like, this is a mess. Like, (laughs) I got waitlisted, then I got in, and now something, you know, outside of my control has happened, and I have to reapply, and I don't even know if for sure I'm going to get in again. But I could have either said, well, this sucks. I'm having to reapply because of a mishap. I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to complain, blah, blah, blah. I say, you know what? This is God giving me an opportunity to prepare for what I'm asking for. Right. So I was able to still work my corporate job while I was waiting to reapply and get my paperwork and all that together. And I was able to save up enough money to pay for my first semester 100% out of pocket. And I thank God for that looking yes. back. But this is what I mean. That's faith and work going right. hand in hand. I had faith that even though there was a setback, God told me I'm going to be a nurse. Right. So and I had keep to going. keep on going. There you go. But instead of being like, this sucks. I'm getting a setback. I was like, what can I do with this setback? Okay, I can save money. Right. Because what I didn't realize at the time was, I'm thinking I'm going to be able to just be eligible for all these student loans and blah, blah, blah. But I was married at the time. And our joint, how much we made together as, you know, a married couple, I was only eligible for like barely $1,500 a semester. Baby, it's $4,000 a semester. See? So I thank God that for that setback because I was able to save money so I could pay for school and blah, blah, blah. So this is what I mean. Sometimes those setbacks, things mm-hmm. that we manifest, don't always just happen. Don't think because you say, I want that business. It's just going to happen. Right? You got to put the work in. You got to put the work in. It happen. And that's a good thing that, I mean, of course you're going to have your days so where you think it's not possible. Mm-hmm. But that's That's where that you, faith come in. That's exactly. That's where that faith come in. That's where you come in with that faith. To put it together, to put the, the, the work behind it to make that dream happen. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have it behind it, then baby, come on. And I think the accomplish. common misconception with manifestations is that just because you say it, it's going to happen. Right. And it's going to be smooth selling. And I said it, so it is. And it's like, baby, all this still comes with setbacks. Right. It does. But that's the same thing. Like, you have to build yourself up to make sure that. Whenever you do have that rocky road or that bump in that road that you can bounce back mm-hmm. and make sure that you back on track and have that faith in God, you know what I'm saying, to make yourself go to push through to get where you need to go. Right. Because there, I'm, I'm telling you, we can tell you from experience, it's going to be bumps in the road. Maybe. So don't think having faith or manifesting or whatever it is means that, yay, it's going to be great. All I got to do is say and put in the work and it happens. No, no. baby. <laughs> No. No. If it was that easy, we wouldn't need God. So they're going to be setbacks. Everybody will be at the top. At the top. So no. And that makes me think of something you mentioned earlier about being careful who you speak your manifestations or your faith plans to. Right, 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 right. Because everybody ain't for you, baby. Sorry to tell you. Everybody is not for you. You have to figure out your circle. Figure out what works best for you in and out and then go from there like you know what i'm saying because if you around people that you feel are not bringing into what you are putting out find a new circle like you might need a triangle you might need a little triangle or a small square you might need a small square (laughs) with four points points, because all i'm saying is unfortunately some people are preying on your downfall so you can't if the lord gives you a vision you can't run and tell everybody that vision. Like, hey, I think I'm going to do this next year. And I'm going to do that next year. Because some people might be like, I was thinking of doing that. And now she's stepping yeah, out she's on faith and doing it. And I feel like she can do it faster than yeah, me. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm going damn file. Cut you it. don't think that people it. will do that? Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> will do that. And it's unfortunate because you might think to yourself, like, I would never do that to someone. Right. But people do. So you have to be careful of every time the Lord gives you a vision or you have an um, you know, a gumption to do something different or there's mm-hmm. a desire in your heart, that don't mean you got to share with the world. You don't got to hop on Facebook and be like, all right, 2022, I'm opening up a boutique and I'm moving to uh, LA and I'm doing this and I'm doing it. Sometimes keep, keep that to, to yourself. yourself. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. And then another thing is too, like a lot of people, if you say something, they going to assume that that's what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Your word is your bond. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you put that out there, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people don't see the back scenes, like what, what happened back scenes, you know what I'm saying, within your life. So, you could, like, have a bump in the road that legit keep you from stopping doing what you're going to do that may, may make you fall back a couple months. But they don't see that. All they're saying is, like, 
You said this, that's what you gonna do. Why she you ain't do it? Mm -hmm. She ain't do it. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, it's just like sometimes you got, just gotta be careful about who you talk to, what you saying, what you putting out there, because at the same time, you want to make sure that you're capable of doing what you're putting out there too. Because sometimes you can put it out there and say that you want to do it by a certain amount of time. You want to do it a bump in the road, boom, boom, boom. People getting at you like, I thought you said I thought you said, like, yeah, it's like. Uh, but if you're not strong-minded and strong-willed to bounce back from what other people are saying about the things that you're trying to do, you might fall into a place of where you just like, well, I did say, I guess I'm just going to stop. <laughs> No. And don't let those negative thoughts over, you know, like overtake your mind. Right, I think right, that's right. the way the enemy keeps us in cycles where we get in our own heads. Like mm -hmm. the power is in the mind. They always say, you know, I don't mind is the devil's workshop. Like you have to exercise your mind. Right. Don't be thinking, don't get yourself into a cycle of negative self think right. or self thought like right. oh things aren't going as planned there's a setback i lost this person i, I lost that it. business relationship i, no, I failed that low key make you want to go right. harder right like what i have had so many setbacks in life and and i now that i look back on where i am and there will be more setbacks that's just life right but when i look back i'm like you know i'm thankful for the divorce i'm thankful for me having to you know wait to go to nursing school and this is and that because when you have setbacks and you come back from the setback it builds character and it builds endurance right so don't always think as a setback as a bad thing like if we didn't have a setback then how could we grow as an individual right but that that comes with maturity True. We'll see. It comes with maturity because at the same time, a lot of people are not mature enough in the mind to see that a lot of things that didn't work out was God plan anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people feel like, dang, it didn't work out. Like, dang, I'm bad. I'm yeah, I'm this. this. I'm that. No, you got to look at it like we said, positivity, baby. Bring that positivity instead of negativity. Like, figure out why it didn't work out. Try to think of a a, a positive reason of why it didn't work out versus a negative. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It didn't work out because God didn't want that to work yeah. for me. It was something else that God had planned for me. Mm -hmm. So why it didn't work out? Not like it didn't work out for me because I'm, I'm not bad. good or yeah. I'm this or I'm that. That's where you get yourself down and where you can't build yourself so back, back up, up to go do yeah. what you need to do. Like, yeah, positivity, baby. Goes because the all things work together for the good that love the Lord. Period. And you know, I don't know where everybody's thought processes are, but I can, you know, or beliefs are, but I can only speak from my own experience right. and what I've been through and how many setbacks where I'm like, God, it's me and you, because if you don't get me out of this, you or bring me out of this, sometime. sometimes you, you got to get, you know, yeah. round up with. <laughs> right up, got <laughs> But I can say that, you know, I, I really am, if everything was smooth selling, then I'd probably be where I am today. Like, yay, I'm this, I'm that. It's like, it ain't even about me, you know, type right, of thing. Right. And I have so much more wisdom because of the setbacks. That's how you gain wisdom. That is exactly how you gain wisdom. Because you when you are able to even grasp hold of everything that's going on in your life, and you just look back like, dang, like... Loki, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that didn't work out. I, I really wanted it to, but now I'm looking back, I'm like, oh, right. I see, and of, and I of see. course, in a moment, you're going to be like, dang, why this, this, is this, but you have to reflect. Reflect. Take time to reflect. Reflect. Because when you take time to reflect, and that's what I encourage everybody to do at the end of 2021, reflect. reflect. One thing I personally do is I journal. I try to write at least once a journal entry a month. I wasn't as good this year. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of every year, and I've been doing this probably for the last four years now, I always on the New Year's Day, I read every entry I made in my journal so that I can see how far the Lord, you really should. It's helpful because you don't realize how much you go through in a year. And sometimes you don't remember. Like, that was in January this year. I thought that was last year. No, that was this year. And so it's been helpful for me at the end of every year to read back through my journal entries and say, dang, the Lord brought me through that. Oh, I was dealing with that. Oh, okay. And it's a good way to start your new year. Like, okay, well, if the Lord brought me through all of this in 2021 or all of this in 2020 or whatever year, mm -hmm. then surely, no matter what I go through in the next year, he's going to bring me through. So yeah. I encourage everybody to do something similar to that or find a way to do that of reflection because we go through stuff every day. Every, every week, day. every month. And yeah. so, unless you write it out, you forget 
how the Lord has blessed you or you forget how you were strong enough to withstand this particular situation right. or how you were worried about this, but it worked out or whatever. So when you write that down and you can read that back to yourself, you're like, I feel encouraged. Right. So I, I really enjoy doing that. I didn't. Did, I think I didn't did that since 20, 2018. I've done that. Yeah. Let me give me a little journal. And I only do it like, like I said. I mean, other years I've been better, but this year I know I've only done like one journal entry a month. But if it's something big, just writing it out and just that's just your way of just letting it out, you know. And then you can read it back and be like, I've been. I did that. Or I'm you strong. can even yeah, it gives you and that goes into positivity, positivity. like. Dang, I was down. This was a low point for me. But look at where I'm at today. today like, right. looking back at it, like, this is where I am today. And it can give you more more um, room to understand that you are able to grow. You, you know what I'm saying? Even when you at a dark, dark point, who knows what's in the future. If you at a dark point, you go see your journey, you look back like, dang, this is where I was. But then I, after that, I remember I had did this, I had did that, I had did that. I can bounce back from where I I'm at right back, now if right. I am somewhere in a dark place. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. That's good. I like that. Yeah, so get you a journal 2022, right, once a month about what's going on or, you know, however much you want to. But, you know, definitely date it and then just read it back at the end of every year. You can see what you've been through in that year. And it's just like, dang, I really have grown. Like, I really, I did it definitely a lot in nursing school because mm -hmm. I, I would write about patient experiences and different things. And I'm like, dang. And then, you know, when you in a dark time in whatever year, it might be a year or two from now, you can always go back to your old journal entries like, but you did good at this point when you were right. just a novice. It can uplift you. you know, it it's can uplifting. uplift you. Period. Yeah, I get that. That's, that's a good idea. That's so then that makes me think about new trends that we should start going into 2020. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we said manifestation or at least the word is a trend it's and a this, trend. this and that. But really, I feel like going into 22, we need 2022. <laughs> We need to think about being kind and uplifting each other, especially as black people. Especially as black people, being kind and uplifting. Like, it's not, it doesn't hurt to say some encouraging words or just be positive to somebody. Like, just as simple as asking somebody, how is your day? How are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Hi, how are you? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes in a grocery store, I dealt with this like a couple weeks ago. Um, when I went to Walmart, the cashier, like, of course, you looking for the, the person to speak to you first. Right. So you know what I'm saying? I'm approaching you. I'm not trying to say, like, this is your job, but of course you need to be Yeah, you need speak to be saying, hey. Because this is a customer service, right. bro. You know what I'm saying? Baby, she didn't say nothing to me. She just started packing my groceries, da, 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 da. Did I say something? Nope. But, I mean, I could have. I could have been like, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? But she might have took it in a... Yeah. Real way, like I'm trying to speak, but you know, majority of the time I do do that. Like, right. hi, how are you? Acknowledge me, baby. Right. I'm Acknowledge a customer. Acknowledge me. I'm a customer. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or I'm a person, period. Yeah. Acknowledge me that you see my presence. I'm going to give my money to this establishment. Right. Acknowledge me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's important to do that. A lot of people don't know how to do that, but I feel like a lot of people don't know how to do that because it's never been taught. Yeah. But, and set I'm, the trend. Set the trend. Just be kind and just take the extra step and it's not always about you right. i think um you know what we felt we in a culture where it's just like it's all about me i'm blessed it's i got this me, 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 i you know i got my business me. i got my money i got my fame whatever it is and we are just like me 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 but the right. truth of the matter is uh, when God does something for you, he's thinking about other people. He ain't even worried about you. Yeah, he not. He's trying to see what you're going to do with that blessing. With that right? blessing. So he keep blessing you. That might be why some of y'all missing y'all blessings. Because you don't want to share. Blessing y'all want to share. Because it's like, oh, she she owe me money. I ain't going to give her nothing more. Because what about, what happens when the Lord tell you to bless somebody who owe you something? That's really a testament. Maybe they're not getting nothing. No, I'm just like, <laughs> God, not. Or bless somebody that wronged you. Or, bless, you know, I right. mean. That's that's when it steps up into maturity. Maturity, and yeah. Person. Like, for like real. at the end of the day, I feel like I'm going to give this to you, even though I know this is what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm not holding no grudge. It is what it is. I'm going to give it to you because I'm going to be blessed regardless. Regardless. Period. Just remember that it's not about us. Like, right. we all here on assignment, you know, and that's just the truth of the matter. Bring light, and then that's it. And so it's just like. It's not about you. Yes, you are being blessed. Yes, we are proud of you. Yes, that's great. 
But think about, okay, why is the Lord continuously blessing me? What is he trying to get through me to somebody else? Right. Because that's really what it's about, baby. It's about community. We need each other. Need I don't know what this new new age thing about, it's me, it's all about me. I don't need, um, nobody. My, uh, I don't need nobody. You do. I need you. I need you. I need you, you need me because two is better than one and Ooh, three is one. even stronger than that. Ooh. So it's just like where people, I mean, because you see it on social media all the time. Like, I don't care. I'm cool with just being by myself. Okay. Be by yourself. I mean, it's cool. It's okay to be by yourself to understand yourself. But at the same time, you still need You others. still need community. You still need you others to be that backbone of support because sometimes you might fall short. Mm-hmm. And if you're not able to pick yourself back up, you, you're not that strong to pick yourself back up. Who else is there to pick you up if you so? By yourself. By yourself. And you know don't nobody know what's going on with you and blah, blah, blah. It's good to have blah, others. Blah. But it's good to, I mean, it's nothing wrong with putting yourself, like, in a mindset to get yourself right, together. Yeah. But it's a difference between having a support system and just saying, like, I don't need nobody. I don't need to tell nobody nothing that I got going on. Everybody I'm needs left. somebody. Everybody needs somebody. I'm sorry. Everybody needs somebody. So we just wanted to mention this going, you know, ending out 2021, going into 2022. Because right. the stuff I see on, like, social media, I'm like, this world is just ridiculous. Like, it's getting, it's, the like, getting, getting ridiculous. ridiculous. Okay, and it's 2022. Be more kind. Be more kind. Be more patient. Be more patient. Love God. Love God. Love yourself. Love yourself. Y'all. Uplift. We ain't know where to go from there. We ain't know where to go from there. But anyway. Yeah. Uplift. Uplift. Encourage encourage one one another. Love each other. And we pray everybody has a prosperous 2022. Like I said, it's been a rough two years with everything that's been going on. But we still here. We still breathing, moving, whatever. So that means we still got things to do. We still got things to do. So going into 2022, guess what? You want to sign it. So think about other people. Right, and, real. you know, give to other people. Be encouraged. Be kind. And, again, sometimes you ain't going to feel like doing all that. We Not get that day. mental health. You, you're going to yeah. have your days where you're going to have your days. Day. But at yeah. the same time, if you're giving that appreciation, that kindness, that that love back to somebody else, it's going to boomerang right back to exactly. you. Exactly. It's going to come back around full circle to you when you need it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So as long as you put it out there to people that you appreciate, that you love, one day when you're not at your best, it's going to come it's to gonna you. It's going to go back. Yeah, that's true. Period. That's very true. Yeah. So with that being said, let's go ahead and make this champagne. Hey, y'all know. Moet, 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 Moet. Toast to 2022. I want to toast to a prosperous, safe, loving, wealthy, fulfilled, wealthy 2022. And us stepping out on faith. And that's speaking what we want, but putting the work behind it and trusting God all 2022 and beyond. Oh, and it's love.